Hello boys and girls, welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we're going to talk about Unit 3.2, Surface Area of Prism. Now, in the past video, we answered question A and B. And we understood how to get the area of a triangle and the area of a rectangle. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about question C and D, area of parallelogram and tra trapezoid. Now, let's start with the parallelogram. In this parallelogram, as you can see, we have two sides. One of the sides has 7 centimeters, and the other one is 3 centimeters. And he gave me the line which is inside. This line is the height. So we have a base and a height. Now, the base and the height are always perpendicular to each other. So they have 90 degrees angles between them. That's why we have to say that the 7 cm here is the base because 2.5 cm is perpendicular to the base and the area of a trapezoid, I'm sorry, parallelogram is what? It's base times height, very good. So it's 7 times 2.5 and it equals, now 7 times 2 is 14 and half of 7 is 3.5 you can use the calculator for that the answer will be 14 plus 3.5 is going to be 17.5 let me put it here 17.5 and it has to be centimeter square very good so the answer must be centimeter square all the time with areas so what did we do we took the base which is 7 here and we multiplied it by the height which is two and a half and then we got 17.5 centimeter square and this is the area of parallelogram now let's move on to question D and see how to get the area of a trapezoid in question D we have a trapezoid which has two bases we have the short base and the long base and as we said that with a short base we go with A and the long base is called B and because this is perpendicular to both bases we can consider it the height very good so we have A and B and H here very good and the area of trapezoid for example if he if this one is not perpendicular here they will give us a line which is perpendicular to both lines or both bases now the area of a trapezoid formula is like this it's a plus b divided by 2 multiplied by h now a and b are what let's make a line a is 6 yes plus 11 which is B and then divide 2 so 6 plus 11 is what very good it's 17 divide 2 equals now 16 divide 2 is what very good it's 8 and then 1 divide 2 is 0.5 so it's 8.5 this is the first step we got a plus B divide 2 so 17 divide 2 equals here let's put it here make it smaller so we have a plus B we said 6 plus 11 divide 2 multiplied by H let's do it together yes H is what H is 4 very good so this is the whole formula of a trapezoid now 6 plus 11 equals very good equals 17 and then divide 2 multiplied by 4 so 17 divide 2 is very good it's 8.5 sorry multiplied by 4 equals 
8 by 4 is 32. And then half of 4, 33, 34. So the answer will be 34. Good job. Now, the unit which is used in the trapezoid is centimeter. So we're going to use the same unit. So the answer will be 34 centimeter square. This is the answer. So how did we get the area of a trapezoid? We said that the formula of a trapezoid's area is A plus B here. Divide by 2 and then multiplied by H. We said that A is 6 here. B is 11. We add them together. They equal 17. And then divide 2 equals 8.5. And then we multiply it by the height which is 4. And it equals 34 centimeters square. You can use the calculator for these kinds of questions. And now... This is how we get the area of a trapezoid. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.